Welcome middle schoolers to episode number 17. For today's lesson, you're gonna need a water bottle, a broom, or a long wooden stick, and 10 paper plates. If you don't have 10 paper plates, you can make 10 small circles out of recycled paper. All right, let's get ready for the warm up. All right, middle schoolers, we're gonna start with our broomstick in both hands and we're gonna do what's called a pullover or a passover. The wider you go, the easier it is. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth and enjoy this nice stretch through your shoulders. Next up, these are called around the world. We're just gonna go over the head, taking some nice deep breaths. And then we're gonna switch directions. Try to keep your arms as straight as possible. And don't forget to breathe. All right, we're gonna take our left palm and face it up and our right palm is gonna be facing down. And we're just gonna do a nice stretch for the chest. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing with my right arm so that my left arm goes back and I feel a nice stretch through my chest area. Really make sure you don't stretch too hard and push that shoulder out of joint. can play around with the angle that you're pressing. Let's go ahead and switch. Left hand is gonna go palm down, right hand palm up, and we're gonna stretch the other side. You can move the hips here if you need to. And again, play around with the angle. And don't forget to breathe. All right, now this one's a bit tricky. We're gonna go ahead and put the stick on our back and we're gonna make sure that the back of our head and that our, the lower back, the hand that's on their lower back is always maintaining contact with the stick. And then we're gonna go into our inverted hamstring position. Always keeping the back of the head and the low back connected with the stick. It's okay if you lose your balance, just explore this movement. Don't forget to have fun. All right, we're gonna switch our hands up and we're gonna move to the other leg. Back of the head, check. Low back, check. Here we go. All right, we're gonna end this stick warm up with something called the stick game. Now I'm gonna let the stick drop randomly and the objective is to try to catch the stick before it hits the ground. And for an added challenge, you're trying to catch the stick as low as possible before it hits the ground. And try to let the stick just drop randomly so that you have to 
make a reaction to where the stick is going to fall. The lower you catch it before it hits the ground, the better. Awesome, let's get a quick drink of water and get ready for the daily dose. All right, middle schoolers, it's riddle time. It's shorter than the rest. But when you are happy, you raise it up like it's the best. What is it? The answer is coming up at the end of class. All right, middle schoolers, it's time for the daily dose. For today's daily dose, we're gonna be doing 30 seconds of movement followed by 30 seconds of active rest. Active rest is rest that involves more movement. Rather than just standing there waiting for the next exercise, we'll be doing some active rest in between the main exercises. Remember to move just like me, or if you wanna add your own variations to the movements, go for it. Remember if you're having fun, you are doing it right. Let's do this.
the week, I want to invite you to avoid foods that have some form of sugar or sweetener listed among the top three ingredients. Last week, we talked about reading the ingredient label and trying to avoid foods that have more than five ingredients. Well, this week, when you read your food labels, try to avoid foods that list sugar or sweetener as one of the top three ingredients. Good luck. All right, it's game time. In a moment here, you're gonna see one of my friends from bewellplay.com and he will explain how to play the game. You'll watch the video and then you're gonna need probably some time to pause the video to get your game set up. One encouragement is to make sure your paper plates are not too close together or too far apart or it's gonna be too easy or too hard. So you may need to practice a few rounds to get the hang of it. Have fun. I'm Coach W from BeWellPlay.com and this is 
unlock my phone. All you need for this game are some paper plates, put some numbers on them, set them up just like your phone's lock screen, get ready to hit those numbers. Start with your feet by zero, try to keep up. Touch all the numbers that you see, get back to the zero before it dings and goes to the next number. Mindful breathing. Close your eyes and rest your hands on your knees. Bring your awareness to the touch of your body on your seat. Feel the weight of your body on your chair or cushion. Begin by finding a comfortable posture. Lean slightly forward and back to one side and then the other. Find a comfortable balance as you come back to the center.
Now, sitting up straight, feel your head on the top of your neck. How can you sit so that your head, neck, and back feel most comfortable? Take a few deep breaths. While you are breathing deeply, relax your shoulders, your stomach muscles, the muscles in your face and your hands and your legs. Let go of all the tension in your body. Now bring your attention back to your breath. Where do you feel it most? In your nose or your stomach? In the rise and fall of your chest? Just notice where you feel it most and allow your breathing to be natural and relaxed. Now, notice what the breath feels like as it enters through your nose, goes down your throat, filling your lungs, and back out through your nose. Notice your stomach and chest rise and fall with each inhale and exhale and allow your breathing to be natural and relaxed. Now bring your awareness to the sensation of your breath in your nose. Feel your breath as it comes in and goes out. Just focus on this sensation, paying attention to each inhale and exhale. When your mind wanders or if you become distracted, just notice what's going on in your head and then gently bring your attention back to your breath going in and out. Focus on the sensation of your breath in the foreground, allowing thoughts and feelings to come and go in the background. Now gently bring your attention back to the touch of your body on your seat and open your eyes. All right, it's time for the brain tattoo. This week's brain tattoo is E plus R equals O. That means that in your life, you're gonna have lots of events. And how you respond to those events is gonna equal your outcome. Now, if you are not currently happy 
with the outcome of your life, then all you have to do is change your responses because how you respond is up to you. So if you want to change your outcomes, change your response. All right, middle schoolers, what a fantastic workout. Great job today. Let's finish with the answer to the riddle. It's shorter than the rest, but when you're happy, you raise it up like it's the best. What is it? Your thumb. I'll see you next week for episode number 18.